So we got a pond that's enclosed in the wooden deck that is three feet wide. The fence surrounding the deck is a hundred feet long. All right, so if the pond is square, what are its dimensions? So pretty much what we have here is, for part A anyways, we have a square pond, and then here's the deck, it's three feet, and then we've got a fence. So the entire fence is um, 100 feet long. All right, so um, we'll just call it a pond X. So we get um, four, X and then plus six because it's three on each side um, is equal to 100. So we get 4x plus 24 equals 100. Let's track that. So we get 4x is equal to 76. And if you divide um, 76 divided by 4, we get 25. Or not, excuse me, we get 19. All right, so that's part A. Uh, if the pond is rectangular and the length of the pond is 3 times the width, so 3x and then x, but we still got 3 on each side, or however you want to do that. So we'd have 3. We'd have 2 of 3x plus 6, and then we'd have plus 2 of just x. Oh, x plus 6, and that is equal to 100. So we'd have 6x plus 12 plus 2x plus 12 equals 100. Um, we'd have 8x plus 24 equals 100. So 8x is equal to 76. All right, 3 by 8. Um, 76 divided by 8 um, is equal to 9.5. So 9.5 for x. Um, and then that times 3 is equal to 28.5. So um, for part B, for part B, it's going to be uh, 9.5 feet width and then length is 28.5 feet. Okay, upon a circular was its diameter, so that's just, and then three, and then the whole thing rounds 100. All right, so pi r squared, or not pi r squared, um, circumference is equal to pi times, um, diameter. So in this case, we have um, an R here. We'll just call that R. So we'll have 100 is equal to pi times R plus 3. So 100 divided by uh, pi. Oh, oops, this should be plus 6. I know. Yeah, yeah, because it's, I almost made that mistake. Um, D, and I should call this D plus six, because it's three on both sides. I could have done two times r plus three, but all right, so d plus six is equal to 100 div er, divided by pi, which is like 20, uh, 20, 31, like 31.8. Um, and then subtract it, so diameter is equal to, subtract six from there, 25.85, and then uh, you mo diameter. Give me a second here to think. Oh, they wanted its diameter, so that is correct. It's just twenty-five point eight five. Okay, which pond has the most area? It's probably gonna be the circular pond. So, nineteen times nineteen is 361 uh, 9 times 9.5 times 28.5 is going to be 270 
And then this is going to be 525 roughly feet squared. So, right, and then this is going to be 525 circular pond. It has the most area. Okay, I hope that helps you. That's it.